Oh my God. They can jump out the water too, so. Well, yeah, that gator bites you. It takes them about 30 days to digest human bone. It's called a Cajun divorce. So let me break it down for you. The past 10 years, I've been traveling the world, tour managing artists, and showing them the best spots. I know that anywhere you go, you need that solid connect. We've taken submissions from people claiming to have the keys to their city. Now we're traveling the country to take them up on their word. I'm Justin Lazama, and this is Gatekeepers. So we just got here to New Orleans, nice and early. Here's my little sleeping trick. I get my beanie, pull it over my eyes so that no one sees you sleeping so ugly. Now today, we're going to meet Ashley Jonique. She is a private chef, which I'm super excited about because I love food. I'm kind of curious to see what she can actually show me that I haven't done before. Welcome to Gatekeepers, New Orleans. Yeah, little something on your mustache. It's part of the look. So Ashley pin dropped me the lakefront, one of my favorite areas to come and visit while here in New Orleans. As you can see, it's beautiful. And there's Ashley now. Let's go say hi. Hi, my name is Chef Ashley Jonique. I'm a New Orleans native and I'm a private chef. We hug in New yeah, Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. <laughs> my favorite thing about being from New Orleans is the confidence that we have. I just love the spirit, the culture. It's always a good time. Even when it's a sad time, we have fun. I always forget how beautiful it is here. This is where we come to basically get our minds together in a city full of beautiful chaos. The water kind of calms us down. Well said. So I've been here so many times I can't even count. I've been down here for Buku, I've been down here for Voodoo. First time I went to Voodoo, I saw a big Frida. Really? Yeah. <laughs> My friend is actually traveling with Frida oh, right really? now, yeah. Big Frida was amazing, <laughs> like proper just booty trap. We invented twerking. Yeah. The oh, first sure. one actually invented twerking goes to my church. Oh, really? Yeah. New Orleans, the home of twerking. <laughs> yes. For a person like me that's been here so much, are you sure? I got you. Got you got this unlocked? I'm telling you, I got you. I know people. Oh, I'm so, I feel really confident about this. No trips to New Orleans is complete without a stop at the French market. Oh, yes. This is a must stop. This is basically where you would get some awesome food and all your souvenirs to bring back. Look at this. Got some. Hold Sugar up, cane here. We have time for that. All right. Oh man, it's making me hungry already. Is the muffalata here good? All of our food is good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's your favorite thing to eat when you come down here? My friend's Char Bar in Austin. That's actually where I'm bringing you right now. This is my friend Justin Restaurant J Seafood Doc, and he's gonna be taking care of it. Oh, crab claws, oysters. We about to get into it. Hi, welcome to Jay's Seafood Dot. Ryan must be the truth. I know that you usually don't, but can we get these crab finger sautés? Right on, whatever you want. I'm down for all this. Some oysters, the some shrimp. Oysters. We have to get those, Jimmy. I got you. Y'all can go on, relax, take it easy. Let's get ball to room. Yes. <laughs> we need to get a drink. Oh, yes, we drink all day. Is she that pickled? Take pickled it. string beans? Pickled green beans, oh. yeah. They're real popular around pickled here. Pickled everything. Yeah. Look, if you come to New Orleans, if you can't have a good time, you're and if you can't find good food here, you're a It's up to me. I'd be happy to keep it in. I'm yeah. No, but I'm saying, even if, you beeped it, if, even if you beeped it out, people will get it. You in New Orleans, so it's like... I just say you're a beep. But if you say a beep, beep, that's a beep, 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 beep. Yeah. So you say you're a... You're a... You're a... You're a... It's probably the best you can... Nah, it needs to be a... If you can't have fun here, you're a... And... Pie. <laughs> All right, thank you. La vie. Got some soft shell crab, you got some crab claws. Definitely start with the oysters. Char broiled oyster. You just take the bread and you kind of scoop it up with all the cheese. Get that sauce. Yeah, get it. Make get sure you get that. that sauce. Get all of that. So does this meet up to your standards? This is above and beyond. I think I'm just like relearning how good it's supposed to be. I told you, I got you. We're not done yet though. How we do a soft shell crab? We just pork it. Just take like a little piece and just kind of dip it in the potatoes. Perfect. That's a home run right there. Hopefully we can function after this. Probably the best soft shell crab I've ever had. That was unreal. I don't even know what to say. You don't have to say nothing. We can talk afterwards. So how long have you been coming to this spot? About four years now. He's a really good friend of mine, and he doesn't eat seafood, which is crazy. You got a guy cooking seafood that doesn't even eat it? Yeah, we used to kind of trade off. I'll give him chicken, and he'll give me oysters. So Justin's the Beethoven <laughs> of seafood, because this is insane. <laughs> This soft shell crab might be the best soft shell crab I've ever had. I think you should try had. it. I mean, it's, it's like the, it's, magic. Yeah, it's the best cooked shrimp I've had. It's the first time he's offered me food. Yeah. <laughs> 
Very good. <laughs> I'll give it back. Baby, how are you? My dude. Indeed, Amazing. Yeah. Everything looks so good. How you doing, good, good. I've never met anyone named Justin with a similar mustache. So, I mean, that that was kind of freaky. So how long have you been doing this? We've been having this for about eight and a half years now. So I heard this crazy story or this rumor that you don't even like seafood. Oh man, yeah, you're right. I told you know? him we would do trade-offs. I yeah. would give you chicken and you would give me like oh, some seafood. And she was a kid, she's like, all right, let's go to the French market. I'm like, I've come to the French market so many times. Yeah, like, so many you. times. She never, she never lied. I'm so yeah, this made my day, it's still so early. Still early. You gotta keep on going, <laughs> oh, keep on you. going. You gotta eat and drink your way through New Orleans, you know, that's what they say. Where did you find these recipes or how did you guys create these? Well, you, you know, just them? growing up in New Orleans, yeah, it's you know, you be around your grandma, yeah. sitting up in the house, everybody smelling like gumbo, it's like, <laughs> God damn. This experience I knew would be a great experience because of the food, the personality. This definitely needs to be on Thrillist, just top food list, not even, no genre. He's been here so many times, so he said, but I know that I'll wow him. We still got a lot of time here, huh? I'm okay with that. So we're... At Studio B. This is gonna blow your mind. The artist's name is Brandon. He's okay. a visual artist. He tags buildings. I call him the N.O. Banksy, but people <laughs> actually know who does it. Welcome Hello, to Studio B. How you nice doing? Nice to see you again. Hey, good to see you. Come in, Justin. Brandon, be Mike. How you doing? This is a really dope spot. I think it needs recognition. Hanging out with Brandon, having him actually explain the pieces was absolutely fabulous. Everybody should come check this out. We can use this art to impact people in a positive way. I feel like inherently New Orleans is that. Definitely. You know, the inner beauty, soul, it'll always find a way to survive. We're relentless, we're resilient, you cannot hold us back. Yeah, we accept the authenticity of people. This is a space where you can't be fake. Oh so. yeah, we're not gonna allow it. <laughs> no matter where I go, every corner of the city, I still find inspiration and it still impresses me. I created this room to talk about our relationship with water. There's a quote from the prophet known as Prince, all I need is love and water. And I interpret that to mean you need both these things to survive, but yet both these things to destroy you. So there's this conversation around Hurricane Katrina in the middle with the clouds above and the homes submerged in water with the rooftops emerging. Oh, wow. For anybody in New Orleans who don't just see this as a piece of art, but as a memory, there's a reminder of this idea right here that you are still here. And what does it mean to survive? You, you made it through that experience. And this piece right here, this is like the idea of the water line that was in the midst of the homes right. as the water hit. Everything below this line was completely gone. There was no redeeming it, there was no saving it. So it's almost as if it was erased. A friend of mine said, he said, New Orleans is the new Atlantis. We won't be here forever. <laughs> so what do we leave behind? This is new, it's cool, it's inspirational. Everybody should come check this out. He's done an amazing job creating and curating all the pieces here. Thank you for Thank coming you. by. Yeah, yeah appreciate your conversation. Good nice seeing you as always. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Appreciate y'all. I'm hovering. <laughs> I'm disappearing. <laughs> you, <fade away. laughs> you could do like an effect while I fade away. So this is Neo. I'm pretty sure that you'll enjoy it. It's like the number one soul food spot in New Orleans. Let's go. Let's do it. Can I get you guys started with something to drink while you wait? I think I'm going to order him a bow wow. I think I want to put a little more hair on his chest. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Hey, Because the bow wow is 80% alcohol. It comes in a to-go cup, so you're welcome to take it out with you. If you finish it all by yourself, you get another one for half price. Hmm. You think you can handle it? I'll try. Would you like a water with that? I would love a water with you that. You need it. What makes this restaurant uniquely New Orleans? Really the food. Yep. It's the best soul food restaurant that we wow. have out here. Family owned and it's family oriented. <laughs> Red oh, beans and right. rice. That's me. All right. Wow. Ooh. I have a shrimp creole and this is the bowl of gumbo. Baby. Ooh wee. You think that we can tag team this? I'm gonna do my best. I'm a little lady. I don't know if I can handle <laughs> it all. All right. This is your bow wow baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell them good luck after. Yeah, good luck. Before you this. walk off. Yeah, and we don't have no wheel bearings. Oh, <laughs> so man. Get you out of here. How are you going to get me out of here then? Yeah. Cheers. Bow wow. <laughs> this thing's got some pop to it. 80% of pop. I don't know, 80% of what, but you can taste it. It's really strong. Out of here. So, tread lights. 
tread light. This is great. And like for me personally, like I love the way the French prepare soup stocks. Mm -hmm. Like you can tell like this isn't made in one day. Right. This is a multiple day. The food takes time and we yeah. take our time. But that's why I wanted to take you to this spot because you can feel the love. You can taste it. You can tell that they took their time with it. It wasn't something that they just put together right now. Right? I can't wait just to bring people to these places. Just to show them. Like, right. Hey. <laughs> well you had the food. Well, I'm not gonna say the full New Orleans experience because we still have a little more to do, but don't forget about your drink. Oh, I know. You see I'll, you're trying to babysit I'll, it. I'll get there. <laughs> this is a lot of food. Though. This is a lot of food. <laughs> I mean, it's really good, and I'm hungry. This thing's strong. It's really strong. <laughs> Am I walking too fast? So where are we now? This is the Jazz Market. This is the place that I was telling you about with some good vibes and some live music. My friend is actually gonna sing here. Her name is Brandy. This is where jazz was born. And a lot of young people, they kind of don't dabble in jazz, but down here we're very in tune with music. This is like the place to be on Wednesdays. Literally everywhere we've gone, she's known everybody. And if she didn't know them, she knew somebody that knew them. I will order some wine, kind of get on my grown woman stuff, just trying to chill out, get a break in, just have a good time. New Orleans Jazz Market is pretty dope. Like I got some jazz roots, so it's happy to come back in. You sing here a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's about to call me like now. Yeah, it's free, which is dope. Two. And a lot of people here. But it's a whole Keep it going for me, Brandy. Here we go. Hey Brandy. Brandy did an amazing job covering some Erica Badu. With a damn mic, I'm short. Brandy's performance was amazing. I knew that she would do a good job, but being with her early, I knew that she would wow y'all because y'all weren't expecting it. A good ending to a good night. What do you mean by that? Oh, there goes my wine. I know for sure Justin had a good time tonight. He said he's been to New Orleans and did his thing, but I know that he haven't done his thing like this. I'll see y'all tomorrow. That's good, I don't wanna get hit. This brunch spot is very dope and I felt like we should start off with a little food today. Let's get it started. Everything that you see on this menu is gonna have some kind of craziness to it, but I really want you to focus on this praline bacon. It's even got a smiley face on there. Yes, because it'll make you happy right after. All right, if you say so. French toast burrito. After last night, I think you get that. Well, this looks amazing. Don't tell anybody. Tell everybody. Tell the right people. Hey guys, how are you? Hey, how's it how going? Good. Right, I think we're just gonna get a bunch of stuff to try. Sure. Amazing Bloody Marys. I'm on a Bloody Marathon. Hey Whoa! Guys. Hey! Wow, there's everything. That's it? Uh, eggs Florentine, fried oysters over potatoes, French toast burrito. It's a French toast battered tortilla, scrambled eggs, bacon, and sausage inside, powdered sugar and syrup on top, crispy fried Brussels sprouts with Korean sauce. I'm a Brussels sprout connoisseur. So. <laughs> Patty melt with fries, and then we have food stuff, Malaton. Welcome to New Orleans, the Church of Food. Anything else for you guys? Can we order an ambulance? <laughs> Let's do this. Wow. How's oh, bacon and sausage? Yep. If I'm like watching carbs. It's not about carbs today. It's about all of this. <laughs> Please try this. Let me get a Brussels sprout to balance out the meats. Brussels sprouts is one of the things where you were growing up watching TV, everybody hated them. Yeah. But once you grew up, you're like, this is what I was missing out I on. always think that, actually. I can saute them, I can fry them, I can put them in the oven. I eat them a lot with smoked paprika because it tastes like you put seasoned ham or turkey in it, but it's meatless, so it's good for like vegans and vegetarians also. Meat, loaf, patty melt, take one. Okay to say. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Meatloaf patty melt. It's like a party in your mouth, so you gotta. This is my first fried oyster of the trip. Make sure you eat it with a potato and a little bit of the egg. I'm usually knee deep in oyster po' boys by now, but. This scares me. The barbecue oysters? Yeah? I mean, it's okay to say if it's not good. No, it's good. <laughs> I didn't know what to do because it was so good. 
something then. You've been pushing on me this whole time. Let's get it. Say something bad. I dare you. I feel like I need this to eat during the holidays or something. You need something to go? I'll ship you some. I'm no. cool with the owner. Right. I don't think I can take any more. Oh, really? That's it? I definitely feel like we should hit a swamp tour. Swamp tour? I mean, it's kind of typical, right? Is that a gatekeeper thing, swamp tour? It's a gatekeeper thing. Trust me, I will take care of you. You trusted me this whole time. Well, I'm down. Let's, Let's check it. it out. But what are we gonna do with all of this? Oh, hey guys, you want some? So this one tour is something that New Orleanians, Cajuns, Creole people do. It's one of our things. We may see some gators. It's very exciting. I mean, I've been down here a million times, and this is my first time out on the bayou. So. I've heard a lot of firsts on this trip There's to say you've been to New Orleans so many times. That's a good thing. Make <laughs> money, go boating. Come at me, bro. Let's get it. Sunglasses on it in post. Alright, I'm gonna go a little bit faster. I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm just trying to get you down to a prettier place. We got some cool stuff down this way. I grew up around this kind of stuff. So. I was just about to say that. Like I am obsessed with this scenery. <laughs> I thought you'd like this. It's green. How long have you been doing this? This is my first day. How are we doing? Oh, shit. Amazing. <laughs> so far, so good. You've been paying attention? Because yeah. I don't know where the hell we're at right now. Our tour guide was crazy, just like everybody else in the city. So he just fit right in with what we had going on. What do you look for specifically to be like, well, I know a gator may be over here? Or... Some of them are real brazen, come right up yeah. to you. Others will hide out. You don't know if there's one right there right now. I would probably just die on the spot. <laughs> Y'all ever seen somebody die on camera? They can gator jump out the water too, so. They jump? Yeah. Sweet. If a gator gets on this boat, I'm getting off. Nah, of course they do it. <laughs> <laughs> ain't none of that captain goes down with the ship. They ain't gonna happen. Well, hopefully we can get one. This is so cool. Well, I was getting worried because I know a couple times I've gone out on whale boats to, to see whales nothing happens and I figured okay well at least we tried we'll head back in the dock but then right as we were about to come back in oh my god hey come here marshmallows like who would have thought this stuff here is like gator crack oh he coming y'all I did not know gators ate marshmallows but s'mores is probably my favorite dessert so you know it makes sense gators love mellows they do <laughs> Next time I do a dinner party for gators, I'll keep that in mind. It's like Pac-Man over here. This is insane. I was scared. I'm not going to even front. Those guys can jump in the boat. Gators probably got about 2,000 pounds of downward pressure oh my in this God. bite. It takes about 20 pounds to break bones in your hand. 80 teeth, 40 top, 40 bottom. So yeah, that gator bites you. Uh, there ain't nothing I can do about it. Be good video, bites her hand. Huh? I mean, they're being so big, what do they feed on? Big guys will eat other gators. They'll eat a turtle, crush them, eat Jesus. it. Armadillos, possums, fish, frogs, snakes, birds, whatever makes a mistake. It takes them about 30 days to digest human bone. It's called a Cajun uh. divorce. Come on, get in here. All right, you want the little one or the big one? The big one. The marshmallows don't hurt them. Alligator doesn't have a pancreas. Just eat it. Okay. Some of them you can touch. Here you go, little man. Throw it straight down. Pop it hard. Oh, hey. What you did my lizard. I need these hands to cook. Oh, my God. That's what you got sous chefs. So what does the extra... They hear it. Oh, okay. Makes them crazy. It's, like... it's crazy that you can see their eyes creeping out real quick. The difference between a log and a gator. The <laughs> eyes. Yeah, and this one has teeth. The biggest one we see out here is Winky, about 14 feet. Jeez. Right eye don't work. That's what really? So you really were touching? Mm -hmm. Oh, you were OG. Just making sure you don't drop your phone. Well, I'll probably die before the phone dies. A lot of firsts for me on this trip. So I impressed you? 
100, 110% impressed. The next time I want to cook for you, so Ooh, yes. let me know when you're back in town and I'm I'll show you ready. around. I'm always ready. All right, thank you. Safe so travels. Now that's a real gatekeeper. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just do this while he's taking this. <laughs> if you can't find good food in New Orleans, you're a big jerk. I had an amazing visit to New Orleans. Ashley was a perfect gatekeeper. I had a lot of firsts on this trip. Can't wait for the next stop. I'll see you there. Yo, thanks for watching this episode of Gatekeepers. Make sure you go to Thrillist and subscribe. Check me out in the next one. Peace!